from Oakland, California in the Bay Area. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Oakland Athletics. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Shea Langoliers. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Just about set to go now. And on the hill, Ross Stripling. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Luis Arias stands in now and watches strike one. That one what way one. inside. In the air, left field down the line, and that drops foul. Righty delivers. Pitch misses. Now two and two. On the ground of first, Toro. And he handles it himself for the out. And time now for the Marlins lineup. And now the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. First That's pitch doesn't find the zone. Sanchez ball, no in his third season, batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. One down, base is empty. 2-0. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Two away down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're eye level, but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Ball, Ball one, no strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Three. Next offering is in for a strike. One, one. High in the air, out to right. Rooker makes the play, and that'll do it. Half inning complete. We've got no score. Back here in the East Bay. And getting the start for Miami, Trevor Rogers. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Este Yuri Ruiz in wow. now. Takes ball one off the plate. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. 
This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And it's caught for the out. That is good. The right field. And time now to check out the A's lineup. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. That catches the zone for a strike. 1-1. Runner at second here, one gone. That one finds the zone. 0-2. Next offering misses down and away. That misses, and the count is even two and two. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Abraham Toro up next for the A's. Yeah. Yeah, big swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Ruiz at second with two down. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two. two outs, and one in scoring position. Ball. One ball, two strikes. Man on second, two down. Good job to fight that one off. And a one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Got him looking. And the inning is over. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back in Oakland, top of the second, and at the plate for Miami, Josh Bell. Josh Bell. The wide to kick the pitch. Just the off ball. the outside edge, and that is ball one. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. And he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. That is good. That Hooked good. around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Oh, 
So now here's the DH. Brian De La Cruz. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that one fouled off. Right through there for a strike. No ball, two strikes. The 0 2. And that's downstairs and outside. And the righty deals. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. And the runner holds. You know, Berg, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. A good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Here's Tim Anderson. And the 1 0. No, that missed. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And that one is lifted in the air, and it falls. Lead runner around second. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. That one oh. missed. One and up. With the go-ahead run at third, here at the top of the second. Ground ball left side could be two. There's one, and that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second, digging in for Oakland, Shea Langoliers. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. That one at 95 missed up top, and the count is one and two. Just missed. And now the lefty bounced to third. Zips it across and quickly one away in the second. That is good. The second baseman. And now the rookie second baseman. Swings through that one out in front that time. Oh, that one, one not one. close. 
And the count even one and one. That's ripped. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Everything came together for him. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Man at first with one gone. This is J.J. Blade. Rogers keeping an eye on him. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Yeah, that's oh. outside. With the go-ahead run at first, bottom half of inning number two. Ground ball right side could be two. Fires to second for one, and that's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4-6-3, inning, ending double play. And we're back in the top half of the third inning, and now Emmanuel Rivera. Rivera. Stripling, back to work. That one fouled off. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. Going to now. Liner, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Nick Fortes will hit next. And a good no, eye there. That's the ball. Kicks and fires. Gets the call. And the count even at one. Gets the outside corner with that one. Next pitch is inside. And the count is two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now one away. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Luis Arise stands in. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Run around the move. That one the other way. That's out number two. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. And up next for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. Field two. Back 
foot slider ties him off, struck him out. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. As we go to the last of the third, striding to the plate now for Oakland, Daryl Hernandez. Here comes a pinch. Huh? Oh, one. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off left side. The lefty fires. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Now it's the shortstop, Nick Allen. In the air, right field. Sanchez gets under it, and there's one down. Now batting, left fielder, Este Durey. So the Oakland lineup turns over, and here is Este Yuri Ruiz, doubled in his first A.B. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Snap throw to first. Pernayas back easily. And there's the ball. ball. The pitch. Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. And they put the tag on him for the out. Tyler Nevin up next for the A's. Fly to left his first time. Hammer down the line, and now maybe extra bases. In comes the run from second. On the board first, it's one zip, and that's a double. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Next up for the A's, Brent Rooker. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Sliced hard but foul. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Not even close there. And yeah, the count one and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. The belt and fires. Fights it off. He'll see another. Man at second. Hammers that one. Deep left field. And forget it. He'll circle the bases. It's his sixth home run of the season. And they boost their lead. It's 3-0.
already playing with the lead and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrists to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Abraham Toro up next for the A's. Struck out looking at his first at bat. On the ground right side. He takes it Got himself it. to the bag and that'll do it. The A's with a two run blast. It's now three nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in the East Bay, here's the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The Marlins in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Nope, ball. The 1 0. That's the ball. And the pitch. And it is two and one. Left hand batter waits. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. To the right side. Throw over to Toro. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. One for one with a single so far. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Two outs, bases empty. And now here's the Marlins DH, Brian De La Cruz. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And the slider just misses. The A's leading by three. Top half of inning number four. Fly ball down the line. And that one hops the wall. Around first, digging for two. To second, but way too late, safe there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now for the Marlins, Tim Anderson. And he's already singled in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Dela Cruz on its second with two down. Swung on, belted, ranging into the alley. That's down, one hops off the wall. The run comes in from second, and now just a two-run deficit. Well done, narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. And at the play for Miami, Nick Gordon. He's 0 for 1. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. On the ground, right side. 
throw over to Toro. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Marlins get a run on the RBI double. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ready to go, bottom four, and the batter now, Shea Langoliers. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. The batter, the second baseman. Now it's the second baseman. That one's in there. Strike one. And he deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two gone. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you've got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Lede, the next to hit, takes ball one. One out. That's outside. Nope. Two and oh. Two down, nobody on. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. A's go quickly and quietly there. And the score stays three to one. Welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. And the right hander back to work. Out in front and foul to the left side. And ball one. The wind of the pitch. That's the ball. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Lede calls it in, and there's one away. Nick Fortes, the next up for the Marlins. Struck out swinging his first time. Just oh, missed. High. The fish down by a pair. And we're at the top of the fifth. All Next right. offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Yeah. One, two. One down, base is empty. Down. And they're down to their last out. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher would take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Arise oh. at the plate now. That's ball one. One and oh. That yeah. pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. Yeah. 
They're down to their final stroke. Stripling is just one strike away. That's the ball. That's inside. On the ground, and this should do it. Throw to first, and ball game. And the A's claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, we went the distance for that first MLB win, Boog. I think it's impressive how much trust the skipper already has in him. This could be the start of something great. And your final, 3-1. Oakland hangs on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.